I'm Matt Allen. I'm the city manager for the city of Garden City. Every two weeks our management team gets together to talk about ways that we can do things better in the city of Garden City, how each of our departments can improve. A few weeks ago we did something different though. Each of our departments identified something they appreciated in another department that was done well. And so we put together this video for you, highlighting some of those things. We hope you enjoy it. Here in Garden City we have multiple gems, I believe, for the community. The one that stands out to me is the zoo. I think it's a tremendous asset to this community and the entire region. At the zoo, who doesn't love the zoo? The zoo is one of my favorite places, not just in the city, but in the entire state. I think it's an awesome zoo. It's awesome that it's free for pedestrians. Um, the staff do a phenomenal job taking care of those animals. There are over 300 animals at the zoo, and the staff has to know how to take care of each one. And I think that's, that's awesome. Um, they also do a great job with their education program. Um, they really make it easy to understand why conservation is so important. I think probably the biggest asset in the department that is high professionalism and the appeal is our, is our zoo and what they bring and what Christy has done and what Captain Sexton has done and, and the entire staff. The Richardson Zoo um, has Class A exhibits and uh, the keepers and employees down there are very well educated about the animals and they spend a lot of time uh, educating, putting on programs for people and, and their kids and everything for uh, about the zoo animals. One of the things I really like about the zoo is the arches. Uh, growing up in Garden City, I remember the arches at Ben Grimsley Gym and having the opportunity to go through those arches to attend dances and, and basketball games and many other things. And to see them down at the zoo, every time I drive down there, it reminds me of when I was in high school. And I, I really enjoy it and I think it's a great asset to the community to have those around. We have multiple animals to look at. Uh, which is, in my opinion, quite unique for Southwest Kansas. And another thing I think is the employees that work at the zoo, they do an outstanding job. They take care of those animals just as if they were one of their loved ones. I think we have great personnel in our emergency services department. Um, the firefighters and police officers are running towards situations that the rest of us are going to run away from. I mean, that takes a great deal of bravery and it's good to know that, that there are those people who are willing to protect and serve us. Um, they're also very involved in the community, uh, from the National Night Out that the Police Department does, to the annual open house that the firefighter has, to various other events throughout the city. You, you see them everywhere. I've seen numerous t um, functions where the fire department has come out and been a part of a community event and I feel that that's very important not only for the citizens, for the kids, um, just different areas. It, it's great to see their faces and see them um, out at those community events. You know, from the time we're little, we'll, we're taught that the uh, fire department will come running to rescue you whenever there's an emergency. So it's very comforting to know that we have such a fine department willing to answer the call. Um, but it, it's not that they're only out there willing to risk their lives day in and day out to rescue you know, lives and property of others, but they're out there in the community in other ways. They do uh, educational appearances, they do fire inspections, and at the zoo we count on them for fire extinguisher training, CPR and first aid training. They are truly a perfect example of what a commitment to the community is all about. The most department that I think I appreciate the most, and that is um, the fleet maintenance department. They are very helpful. Anytime I call down there, uh, they're, they're willing to help us. They we bring things in and they get them in and out really quickly. Um, they give us insight and they help us to know how to diagnose something. And so I, I appreciate them. They're very, very helpful. They're always great. They, they help us get going, especially on a year like this when we need our mowers and several go down. They're there to help us and, and get them going back up. So we couldn't do it without those guys. I really appreciate the Fleet Maintenance Division of the city. They truly help keep the city moving. They faced a, a wide variety of issues with a vast variety of vehicles, from trash trucks to police cars, um, yet they are truly, every time, stepping up to the challenge. So it's nice to know we have such a talented team that truly helps keep the city rolling. A lot of the things that the Parks Department is doing with some of our uh, out-of-the-way areas like around our water tower, they've done some landscaping and 
it takes your eye away from some of the things that are around those facilities like chain link fences and things like that. It breaks up the view for people and makes it more attractive. The uh, Parks Department here in the City of Garden City, I believe, does an excellent job, uh, especially with beautification. The uh, Kansas Avenue is, I think, extremely well kept and it's one of the main corridors obviously to the community and that's one of the first things people see when coming here. I'm an avid runner. I like going out and running on the trails and there's lots of beautiful trails in Garden City that to run on, to bike on, and my family enjoys being in the parks and that's something beautiful that our community can enjoy. Uh, we've got a very good trail system around Finna Park that connects on up uh, through the, the central part of town, up 3rd and 4th streets to Tally Trail linking all of our walking trails together. But, uh, part of the trail system along Main Street in front of the zoo and also across the street in front of People's Complex uh, is some very attractive landscaping that was designed by the park superintendent at the time and uh, that was another one of the projects I got to help bring from infant stage to actually seeing the plants grow and thrive. What I like about the City of Garden City is the beautiful parks and the landscape streets that we have. It's really nice to know that our city is a community that actually has state champion trees in Garden City and those can be found with, along with a display on the corner of Finnup Drive and Main Street. There's a nice little display there as well as one of the state champion trees. Garden City Regional Airport is just a huge asset to our community. Um, the regional jet service has been here um, for almost as long as I've been in the community. And it's just so convenient um, to be able to fly in and out of Garden City um, at costs that are pretty reasonable. The city's regional airport is, is a model for the area. It's uh, got a manned tower that increases the safety of the pilots and the passengers who fly into Garden City. They're truly focused on putting the customer first. There's a nice restaurant. There's uh, expanded parking remodeled restrooms, expanded and remodeled waiting areas, the list goes on. They really put the customer's experience first. Having the airport facility and the way it's maintained and taken care of and the expansions that we've seen and continued investment is a great um, asset to our community and uh, what it provides and uh, what it stands for in uh, giving us a leg up in, uh, in providing services for our city that a lot of communities our size don't have, and um, we, I think it represents the community quite well. The airport, which started out years ago as a Army air base, and now it's, it's uh, transformed into a regional air hub with destinations worldwide. Also out at the airport is uh, Napoli's Restaurant, which is an excellent place to go have Italian food, and, and you can watch the airplanes take off and land and uh, I think it's a, a very good asset for the city. Our public works departments, um, that would be street, parks, fleet, traffic, and solid waste, um, also work really well together. Um, they are crews that are out there in extreme heat and extreme cold and make sure that our city continues to function. Um, they do a really great job, street crews especially, on on maintaining the streets and the upkeep of the streets so that we don't have potholes. Um, Garden City has some of the best streets out of any community that I've ever lived in and it's thanks to those to those crews. Um, they also, our traffic technicians are really good at, at responding to calls in a prompt manner when there's a stoplight that's not functioning and um, assignments been hit. They, they take care of those issues and that's another matter of safety like the striping work that the street crews do every year. They do a nice job keeping everything kept up and marked and, and it's very quick and efficient and they can do all that work without interrupting traffic. Another department uh, in the city that I would like to recognize is the traffic department. Um, whenever you travel through Garden City, once you just see how long it takes you to get through town because of the traffic signal detectors, they are a great uh, piece of equipment that the uh, city has put on every one of their traffic lights except for Main Street and you can just get through town really quick. I was impressed 
uh, how the entire team works together and can be getting both things done at the same time and they're exercising proper safety and precautions with their personal protective equipment and just generally uh, projecting a good image of the city. Buffalo Dunes Golf Course. It's uh, you know beautifully maintained. It's uh, the top ranked municipally owned golf course in the state. It gets statewide and national attention for the city of Garden City. They have uh, recently added a walking path out there. You know, if, if golf isn't totally your thing or if you just want to take a break, you can take a nice stroll. Actually, it's, it's a little uh, strenuous stroll sometimes, but uh, there's that and they, they have a mechanic that's really, really good with golf carts. So he not only can keep their fleet running, but he also helps other city departments too. So, you know, it's, it's a really good experience for anybody in Garden City or who comes to the city to use the golf course. Planning and Community Development Department does a great job of ensuring that the growth in Garden City is responsible growth and that we're not um, outgrowing what we can handle. I believe the Community Development Department in the City of Garden City does an outstanding job. There's nothing in this community that gets built or constructed without at some point in time going through their office. Whether it's a zoning change, a planning change, buildings, everything that gets constructed at some point in time goes through their division. They are very customer friendly and uh, I just I enjoy working with them. The employees in the cemetery department were very excited for us to be out there first of all. Um, I had a couple of them asking when we were coming out um, and when we finally got out there to talk to the employees they were very excited to share about the job and they constantly referred to all of the other members as their team members and when we were visiting the team and I, I thought that that was just a great atmosphere that they created there they were very excited about their work and very prideful of, of the work that they do um, so I really enjoyed seeing that that teamwork feel from from the cemetery department. Um, I think our cemetery department does a great job of maintaining both um, Valley View Cemetery and Sunset gardens. One thing that I really like about the cemeteries is all of the old trees at Valley View. Um, there's just so many fascinating trees. And, um, I also really like the history that cemeteries hold. They hold a lot of history, not only family history, but a lot of the town's history. A lot of Garden City's history can be found in the cemetery, which I think is fascinating. Parks have been working a lot closer with the water department in the conservation area as water conservation is starting to become an issue and Fred is, is moving in that direction and, and the Parks Department can help lead the way, um, not only in perception, but just as leaders of conserving water in our irrigation systems as we look to conserve in different ways and use technology to our advantage to do that and to educate in that way too. If we can become more conservative and still get the results we want, that's great. Our public utilities departments, um, the water department, wastewater department, and electric department, they do a good job of taking care of those issues that we don't even think about. When we flip the light switch, we expect it to work. When we start the tap, we expect water to flow, and when we flush the toilet, we expect that to go away. And they, just, they do a really good job of making sure that, that those daily necessities are taken care of. Um, they're also really good at embracing technology. I've seen the cameras that the wastewater crews use to, to check out pipes when there's issues, and that's a really neat piece of technology that it's, it's good that we have. With embracing technology, our utilities departments use software that allows customers to be able to tell exactly when their peak demand was used. So um, if I have a high water bill and I wonder when I when did I use that much water, I can talk to our service and finance department and they could tell me exactly to the hour when I used that much water. The swimming pool, you know, it's a well-run facility, the water looks clean, it's something that you'd want to take your family to. Uh, so that's another good plus for the city. With its water exhibits out there, it has a, a real good place to uh, go cool off in the summertime. But also, the pool hosts regional swim meets and other events, so between the zoo and the pool, it's kind of a neat destination to go hang out. Another feature of the city is the swimming pool, and uh, all the new improvements that the city has made over the last few years, it's a, it's a great place to take your family and have a great time, and I'm very proud that we have that in Garden City. 
The first department I'll talk about, since I'm an avid baseball fan and diehard baseball fan, I'll talk about the rec. Um, I, I think our our fields are beautiful. They put a lot of effort into those. I saw we just hosted the tournament, um, state tournaments. I think that's great. I think that's good. And I think what brings some of that to us is is our facilities that we have. What I like most about the engineering department is Steve Cottrell. He's the best thing about that department. He is just a wealth of information. Anything that you ever need to know, you can go to Steve and he'll be able to help you out. When you drive around the city, you can see their foundation everywhere. They do everything from design services to construction services to ensure all the projects in the city of Garden City are accomplished and make sure that they are quality products. The engineering department is also really good at, at keeping people informed in what's going on, where construction is at. Um, they even have a board in their office that shows current construction projects and the different phases of those projects. Another great uh, facilities that we have, uh, which a lot of people don't think about, is uh, the Jameson Energy uh, Facility and plant that's been built and is, is now fully operational. Is, uh, gives us some independence on our um, energy services and being able to provide electric services. And a lot of communities our size don't have that independence. And uh, with the uncertainty of the times and being able to provide that uh, and being able to know that we have a backup for energy in our community that uh, we have control over and that uh, is, is something to be proud about. We have a very strong administration department which includes the city commissioners. They are a great group of five people that want Garden City to excel in everything we do and they make sure that we have the resources to do it. Uh, they also uh, truly take care of the employees of the City of Garden City. One of the biggest assets the community has is the team that has been put together by, by the City Commission through their City Manager and the form of government that we have. Um, we have some great employees that uh, do fantastic work um, throughout the community in different departments from um, from the management down to the laborers uh, that actually get everything done. Um, I think uh, that's one thing that sets us apart is the team that has been assembled that works for the citizens of the community. Another department that I love about the City of Garden City is the communication department. They're responsible for providing information to the community as well as educating the community from anywhere from uh, social media aspects, uh, news releases, and as well as um, preparing the annual budget summary. The city has so many great things going on right now, but we wouldn't be able to get the word out if we didn't have a, a communications department that can get it out on every piece of media that, uh, that is available. Uh, our community uh, is very young and they like to do social media. We still have the newspaper, but our communications department, they do most everything they can uh, to get the good things that are going on in our city out to the public. The service and finance department is very customer oriented. Um, they provide a lot of their materials that they come up with um, in a lot of different languages for the customers of Garden City. It's a very diverse community with lots of different languages both spoken and read, so um, they try to accommodate when they can, which I think is great. Um, the finance department also does an awesome job with record keeping and um, with accounting, which is evidenced by the fact that they've received the Government Finance Officers Association's uh, Certificate of Excellence in Government Reporting almost 20 times in 20 years, and that's, that's pretty awesome. They were very um, adamant about customer service and being the face of, of the city, and they understand that they are um, seeing a lot of the uh, city residents on a regular basis and we wanted to make sure that they were creating a good atmosphere and um, just great customer service overall and they were all very friendly and willing to help with anything that we needed. The GIS department is the county city department and Trey and Adam are always more than helpful um, with any department that needs a map and they can pull up a pretty detailed map of anything in the city. Um, I actually had them pull up the map of cities in the state of Kansas and it was, they got exactly what I needed so they're definitely an asset to our department. GIS, you know, kind of an unsung hero among people but they help us out a lot. 
any map we need. If we need a map of, a, of something where we want to put a landscape design together, we can go ask them and they can throw something down for us and those guys scramble for us pretty quick. And I know I'm in their office a lot and, and I'm in the office with IT a lot asking them questions and what we can do or what kind of uh, technological equipment we need to buy to be able to have better access to this and they help us out. And, they act pretty quick for us too, and so we get a lot of help. Our municipal courts, um, one of my favorite departments, they actually um, have such a small office staff that work with such a large caseload, and sometimes they have to work with people that are not especially happy with local government, um, with tickets and fines and fees, so um, I really have to give props to municipal court and good staff. What I like about working with the city is all of the good cooperation we have amongst departments. The downtown is made up of actually different parts of the community all acting together from the utility departments to the park and rec to um, the street department uh, working with Downtown Vision to make it a great place for people to come and enjoy Garden City. And that's what I love about our community. We hope you've enjoyed this video. And whether you have compliments for us or some ideas about ways we can do things better, we hope you contact us at the information below. Thank you for watching.